Hi everyone, this is part two, so if you've not watched part one, you might want to watch it, you might not, it might be boring, but you might want to know how we got to this part, because this part might not make sense if you've not watched the first part. The first part might not have gone up the day before this, it might have gone up three days earlier, or two days, or both parts may have gone up on the same day. As I'm filming it, I obviously don't know how I'm going to schedule them, but potentially they may not go up back to back because you know who wants a story time one day after the other like i don't know because i am trying to like if i'm doing talking videos i'm trying to not have them back to back but obviously if it's a story time it might help to have them up on the same day or a day apart so i could potentially put one up in the morning one up in the afternoon but that would also depend on how many videos I've got ready to go live, what what I could film, what I might not be able to film because obviously as I'm filming this I'm able to keep up with getting a video up every day because I've got videos filmed but who knows what's going to happen, I, I don't, obviously I should be much further into my videos by this point, like if you don't know my goal was to have 365 videos up by the end of the year but due to harassment, intimidation, and my neighbours affecting, well, not all of my neighbours, just some of them now, affecting my mental health, affecting my life, affecting my physical health, I wasn't able to film at times and edit, etc. Which brings me on to my next point. I mean, I don't know how many videos I'm going to have to say this in, but you may have come across this video as your first video that you've seen of mine, or... You may dip in and out of my videos or you may watch parts of my videos and you may miss me saying this but the for, for the foreseeable future which is more than two weeks because i've been saying it's two weeks now but anywhere up to six months i will not be editing videos so whatever i film there won't be any edits some videos won't be obvious that i've not edited it because some do go smoothly believe it or not but some will be obvious that I haven't edited, especially if I ramble on and it's just nonsense and stuff that I may have cut out or may not have done. But the main reason, and there is several reasons, but the main reason is time. I just don't have time to edit videos. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, my name is Melanie and I do a variety of videos, including these. You're not going to see me in the video. You probably won't see me in a lot of these videos where I'm just sat down wherever I am in the house um but you don't need to see me so on to part two i can't remember where i finished on part one now oh this is great i think i was saying that like i went to bed and i got up the day after and i just I, like i said i had a bit of a sore throat slight headache i think i had a bit of a temperature and i was too hot way way too hot and did I say I was a bit tired? I can't remember if I've said that in this part, but there you go. I was a, a bit more tired than I should have been. Like, not from lack of sleep tired, although I probably didn't have enough sleep. It was just like, do you know when you're not well, you just feel more tired anyway. But I wasn't lethargic and it wasn't an extreme tiredness. I was just more tired and didn't have as much energy. So then Sunday, I mean, I need to do a story time. Oh, Sunday's the day I woke up. I don't know if I'm saying the days or not. And Sunday, like I said, I was tired, so I had lack of motivation. I had a, quite a big to-do list. I um I write out my to-do list for Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes on a Saturday, I'll do bits off the Sunday list and as well as doing stuff off the Saturday list. And on Saturday, because I wasn't feeling great, I think I was a little bit tired. Like, I didn't realise I was not, like, I was getting unwell. I was just like, there's a lot going on that's, like, stressful and, like, mentally draining and stuff. And I just thought, oh, I was just drained on Saturday. I just thought it was just to do with stuff that's going on. So I didn't do as much as I typically would do on a Saturday. But there has been weekends where I've done the majority of the list on the Sunday. But sometimes... There's time weekends where I'll do the majority of it on the Saturday, so it always varies depending on how I'm feeling or 
you know, for lots of reasons, but it's just like how life is, whatever's happening, I'll just do whatever. So on Saturday, I was like, do you know what, it's, it doesn't matter that I've not got through a lot of what I would typically get through, because I'm sure I can get it all done tomorrow. So Sunday, like I said, I woke up unwell, like, and it wasn't massively unwell, it was just like, the unwell that you just carry on, like, in fact, I've been far, far more unwell and I've just carried on because it's life, you have to. But I didn't get much done off my to-do list because something took over the majority of my day. Um, yeah, <laughs> and that's, a, that's a, another story time. So I didn't get through too much of the list and like I was rushing around, I was doing things that I don't normally do. Um, and it was a very tiring day, so, like I said, I just carried on even though I didn't feel great, I felt a little bit dizzy, felt a little bit nauseous, um, not massively dizzy or nauseous, you know, like, just a little bit, like, you just, you don't always notice it, but every now and then you'll notice it, you'll feel a little bit that way, and at one point I was like, oh, do you know what, I've barely had anything to drink today, I probably just need to drink, and I had a couple of drinks, water or whatever it was, and I felt a little bit better, but I never, I didn't feel 100% right. I had a bit of a sore throat, like I said, a bit of a temperature. I was way too hot. A little bit tired. Just not great, but not, like, massively unwell. Like, it wouldn't have bothered me if I felt like that for a few days because that's nothing compared to how I could feel. And then yesterday, again didn't feel 100% but I don't think I felt much worse than the day before I just didn't feel 100% but like I felt not 100% before but worse so it wasn't like the worst like and I just got on with stuff but I like I just didn't feel motivated I carried over some of the things off my weekend to do list and like, like I'm going to spread it over the week I, I don't want to overwhelm myself because like I said I'm mentally drained for lots of reasons there's a couple of, well there's something that's happened well one thing that well I don't know something's happened and there's well there's several things that's affecting me you see so that's the thing but it's all draining and like I'm avoiding phone calls because so some people want to speak to me and not really thinking like I will do a story time about what happened but I don't feel up to talking about it because every time I think about it I get upset and really like I just feel all these feelings that I don't want to feel and like obviously people are trying to talk to me about it and I've been avoiding phone calls um and I actually planned to answer these phone calls today but I didn't know I was going to wake up feeling this way anyway yesterday I just didn't feel that motivated I just was like do you know when you're just like oh god like you just you've got nothing to give and you're just trying to get through the day and do like essential things like you're not going to think oh I'm just going to crack on and do this that I missed at weekend even though I'd wrote them on my to-do list I did do bits and pieces I did keep going um, I didn't, like, there were times where, like, getting stuff done in, and then there was times where, like, I need to sit down, um, and I did things that were on my list, that would have been on my list sometime this week, because my Monday to-do list was a, couple, a few things from the weekend, and a few things that I needed to do that day, but I was doing things that I would have put on my list maybe today or tomorrow, um, but yeah, I just didn't get massive amounts done. But at the same time, I was rushing around doing bits and pieces. Like, And I know that doesn't make sense, but it, it might make sense. So, um, my sore throat was like constantly there. But it wasn't, like, it was a bit worse than it was at the start. But it wasn't, do you know, like, sometimes you get a sore throat and it, like, it bothers you a little bit, but you, it doesn't bother you massively to the point where it's not too painful. You can still eat, but also things were tasting a bit different. Things were tasting spicy that weren't really spicy. Like, it might have had a little bit of spice in and normally you can just taste it, but it was like, God, this is 
like a bit spicy and I'm like well I've not changed what I put in it and I was like oh my glands are up so everything just tasted a bit different or a bit stronger or a bit spicier um and I just didn't feel like right but you know there's days when I don't feel right it doesn't mean that I'm getting sick and I knew I was a little bit under the weather and then last night I'm gonna end up with a third party if I don't hurry up last night um I think oh god I was cold <laughs> I had the heating on I had like lots of I didn't have too many layers on because you know sometimes you put lots of layers on and then 10 minutes later you, you take them off and you're just too hot so I did, probably didn't have as much on as I probably should do but I don't like getting do you know especially if you don't feel 100% well and you, you've got all these layers on and you just get too hot and it's just you just feel a bit claustrophobic like I just don't like it um but I was cold and I was trying to like drink liquids because I felt like I didn't drink as much as normal or maybe as as much as I should even though I'd probably had over two litres of liquid um, well over and I was sat here and I was going to go to bed or go upstairs because I don't always lie down unless I'm, do you know, when you're just absolutely exhausted and you're just like I need to lie down and you don't necessarily intend to sleep but you just fall asleep and then that's it but, um, and the telly was on, and I was like, oh, there's never anything on TV, and for some reason, I got up, like, the TV guide, and Taken 2 was about to start on ITV4 or something, it was something that I don't, a channel that I don't typically watch, and I put it on, expecting to not, do you know, like, like, I don't watch much because, A, I'm not really, like, I, I don't know, I just, I can't concentrate, like, I get distracted after about six seconds, and, like, I struggle to even watch stuff, like, in general that I like, and I put it on. I love the Taken films, I absolutely love them, and the second one potentially is my favourite, although the third one I saw at the cinema and it looks so much better on the big screen and it is a good story the third one but I do love the second one and I really got into it and I didn't plan on getting into it I plan I thought oh do you know what I better start watching it and after a few minutes I'll probably get distracted and probably get to halfway through and go to bed because I've not watched any oh no I could not stop watching it like I was not distracted which is nice because I'm always distracted I was like oh my god and I was like if I watch all of this I'm gonna have to go straight up to bed only have five minutes on my phones and then lie down and so I basically decided to watch it all but as I was sat here what part did it get up to if anyone's ever watched Taken 2 you'll know what you'll know where it is when I say I got up to the bit where what's the daughter called I remember. I can literally see her. When the mum and dad have been captured and they're in that wherever and she goes to find them and then she drops the gun down to him and then he eventually gets to her and they steal the taxi. That's the bit I got to. I was like, I'm going to have to go to bed. I'm cold. I don't feel great. I need to go to bed. So I went upstairs and I probably went on my phones for a little bit because I just do anyway and sometimes I'll just look at the most random stuff I don't even know what I was doing like I can't even remember so I can't say oh I was doing this because I literally do not have a clue what I was actually watching and obviously I went to sleep at some point I don't know what time I went to sleep um but I did fight over the decision not to watch Taken 2 because I got really, really into it. Like, I would have loved to have watched it, but I just didn't feel 100%. But I didn't feel massively ill. You're going to have to go to part 3 because I can't put up massive parts. So if you want to know what happens, make sure you're subscribed and that you've pressed the notification button because you will get an alert. Like I said, they may not go up back to back. I'm not going to put three up in one day. I could potentially put two up in one day. You'll know if I've done that if you've watched part one and part two on the same day. So 
if you want to see part three check back and i'm going to try and end this as quickly as possible thank you for watching everyone